guys can tell, I'm in my restroom, so obviously I'm filming this at night. And I did a little elf haul. That's right. So I just got this package. It's a tiny haul. I just wanted to come on here and just show you guys what I got. I haven't even opened it yet. Look, I just got it this afternoon and then I went to church and then I came home and I was like, I want to open my thing. So, yeah. So if you guys don't know what ELF is, it stands for Eyes, Lips, Face, and they have a website, it's eyeslipsface.com. Um, they start off with $1 products. Story goes that, um, I think it was like this guy or two guys were like, why do women buy makeup at the dollar store? And they're like, well, because it's cheap and it's okay if we lose it. It's okay if we have it like everywhere in the house and in the car. So you have one lip gloss in the car, one lip gloss in the house, one lip gloss in the office, and so on and so forth. So they came up with the concept of having really affordable makeup and it has evolved. And I started off with buying their $1 line and um, it just so happened that they launched their studio and their mineral and now they have like bath and body stuff and so it's really evolved and um, I'm really excited whenever they come out with new products. Um, I don't think they really uh, mess with the people that do reviews on their site and so it's really really good to read the reviews if the product's been out for a really long time and if it's like a four star to five star, I really recommend, you know, trying it out. And I really do try them out. And even if it's a three star, you know, sometimes people just have a bad experience, defective product or something like that. Especially when it gets shipped from, I don't know, New Jersey. <laughs> so... Let's get started. Um, I got this haul whenever, or I hauled this about, a, I bought it about a week ago. I don't know if shipping was a little bit slower this time. Usually I get it within, let's just say a full week. It took a little bit longer this time, but again, I really wasn't keeping too much track of it because yeah, I have other things on my mind. So let's bust this baby open right now. Lots of you. And so we get your typical, uh, I don't want to show you, but typical packing slip. I think it was like, you got, I think I got like free shipping or something. I did, I got free shipping, that's why I bought stuff. And yeah. And so I didn't get much, I just was, you know, I like to see, and it always comes in a bag like this. I'm telling you, it's not that big of a haul. Shipping isn't that crazy, but it's like six dollars, and you're thinking, man, I'm buying like dollar stuff, so six dollars could get a lot. So for your cheap people like me, hey. So first things first is every time I buy Elf, these are the things. This is like the first thing I always buy, and even, even though I have like a drawer full of them. I, to me, you cannot beat the price, and I bought four shiny erasers. They look like this. They, I can open one for you, because I'm going to use one anyway. Um, I am extremely oily, and yes, I, I can use translucent powder to, un, to absorb the oil, but I find that these things work the best. Oh, people can say they suck, and you might need to use two. But this is what it looks like. It's really simple packaging. Um, it's paper. It's like tissue thin. It has like tea. As like wax, triglyceride, camellia, scent, whatever, green tea, leaf extract, whatever. And you know, it it works. It absorbs the oil. It takes away the shininess because of the oil and. Yeah, you might need to use two, but let me just say this. This costs a dollar. There's 50 sheets. Okay, I know the, the clean and clear synthetic blue ones or whatever are 50, and they cost like $5 even at like Walmart. Okay, so two of these are $2, and if you, on average, I'm a pretty oily person. I only use like max two at a time. 
So you're still saving like $3. So these are a great deal. And so like, look, I get like, what, 200 sheets for $4. You really can't beat that. And, and another thing that I, I think people complain about these things is that they're like, oh, it tears so easily. First of all, I wouldn't be, if you know, you shouldn't be like tugging on your eyes or tugging on anywhere because you want to prevent wrinkles. Well, don't be like, you're supposed to pat, okay? Pat the paper, pat the paper on your face, not just like, you know, drag it across your face. You're dragging it across your face. You're, you're just like going against everything that you've said and preached about, you know? So yeah, they do tear because they, they are thin, but if you pat your face instead of dragging it across your face, thinking that you're wiping away oil, well, of course, yeah, it's gonna tear, you know, pat. And I'll show you, I'm pretty oily right now. Um, even though it's at night and it's not as hot and I'm inside, I'm still really oily. So my forehead, my nose, oh, I can't believe I'm doing this in front of you guys. Oh my goodness. And then, I think I'm only gonna use one just to show you. And ah, look how oily I am. Like, no kidding. Yes, every time I see this, it always reminds me of an episode of The Simpsons whenever Homer was like trying to go on a diet and they were at Krusty Burger and they were some, talking about like you should eat like foods that are translucent and Bart tastes like a Krusty Burger and he like rubs it on the wall and, and then like you can see because of all the grease in the Krusty Burger, you could like see through the wall. Yeah, that's what I always think about when I see after I've blotted. Like, you can see through the paper, the greasiness. <laughs> so next thing I got were lashes. I got the, oh, did I? I got three sets of lashes. I didn't realize that. I got three natural lash kits, and I heard a lot of good things about these lashes. So, I don't know why they look different. They all kind of look different, but they're supposed to be like the same thing. You guys judge for yourself. Do they look different? I'm trying to see if you guys can. Like, look at that. Like, they look different to me. Like, like they're the same, but they look slightly different. I don't know. That's strange. But I'm really excited. They look pretty, um, like this one looks shorter than this one. And this one looks more, oh, that's so weird. Anyway, it looks really, it looks like this. They look really, really, really natural. And I'm really excited. They kind of, yeah, they do look really natural and stuff like that. And it's supposed to come with a pair of lashes and adhesive so that's pretty good for a dollar you know can't beat that for a natural look and they're really they're really nice so check it out um next thing i got was this this was a recommendation from emily noel she said that this brush is the bomb I thought I had this brush, but I guess I don't. It's the eye crease brush. It's from their dollar line. And I I have like four, I think I have like four of the eyeshadow brushes, like the regular eyeshadow brush. Oh, it's already, oh, look at that. It's shedding. <laughs> That's okay. You mean you can't. Oh, it fell. Well, you just saw my finger, I guess, but oh, it's shed. Like, you guys see that? Like, oh yeah, it's shedding. <laughs> oh yeah, it, oh my goodness, it's shedding like a doggy. Like, look at that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you're gonna see that. <laughs> oh my goodness, maybe I'll wash it, but it seems really, really soft and, you know, they have this brush in the studio line and quite frankly, I don't know if, I don't really like it too much. It's nice for the crease, but these, for some reason, I feel like these bristle, bristles, bristles, these bristles are longer, a little bit longer, so I don't feel like it's so close to the, the 
Oh my gosh, I forgot what this is called. This, the metal part. <laughs> and uh, so I feel like it could be like poking. I don't like that feeling. So, yeah. So this is a dollar. I'll tell you guys how it goes. I think it would be really good for smaller eyes and to get like the precision like the, the outer V. So I'm excited about that. Next, I got this. This is like one of those things that gets like three stars. And I don't really, I've heard good and bad things about it. I'm not sure how I'm gonna like it. Uh, I'm not really big on lining my eye. I like, I water, like, I line my water line. I used to water, uh, I used to, I used to line my waterline a lot, especially when I was in high school and even up to a certain point. Like I always used um, Avon Glimmer Sticks and Waterproof and I have like a whole supply of them. But you know, I've never really used like pen liners and so I'm trying to get into it and you know, see how that's going to work. And this is the Waterproof Eyeliner in black. It says it's new. I don't think it's really that new. Um, and so, yeah, it's one of, the, like I said, it's one of the three star ones because it's like probably a love-hate relationship. Now, this is a, a regret right off the bat before I even use it. And it is the Lash Exact Mascara because I think I saw, again, Emily use it. And it seemed like she didn't like it. And she's a pretty honest gal, and I, I do value her um, opinion. Oh, gracious. <laughs> so I'm trying to get this out to show you guys what it looks like. So, come out. Like, I never prepare, you know. You guys should know me. I, like, never prepare anything. Like, they don't waste any kind of cardboard. Like, look at this. Like, this is probably like leftover cardboard. They like used it to like, they cut it up to like, give it some, I don't know. Here we go. Lash Exact Mascara. Oh, I remember this. Oh, I don't know if I, I'm gonna like it or not, but I bought, this is what it looks like. It's for your bottom lashes. The reason why I got this was because I also got the Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara and it's like $10. And you can be like, $10 is not bad. No, $10 is really not that bad. But it wasn't that impressive to me to be like, oh yeah, Bottom Lash Mascara, woohoo! It was, it was alright. I mean, you know, it's just $10, so no big deal. And then the last thing I got was a lip liner and blending brush huh. in the color red. I don't really remember why I got it. I guess because, I don't know, it seemed like a good idea at the time, I guess. So, <laughs> it always seemed like a good idea at the time, I guess. And so, this is the, oh. So this is the lip liner. Um, like that. Ooh. And then apparently there's a blending brush. And then I guess you blend. I don't know. <laughs> and this is, I mean, they have some pretty decent, like if they have like a two anything, the brush is pretty decent, so. Yeah. So that's my haul. Sorry I talked a lot and showed you not much, but yeah. Um, if you guys have any questions or you want me to do any kind of reviews on any of this, this stuff, except for the blotting sheets, because basically, I mean, I told you what I thought about it and I blotted my face in front of you guys and in front of the whole interwebs. So, um, yeah. Like again, like I said, if you guys have any questions, concerns, comments, um, ideas. I'm very open and I'm, I'm willing to hear anything from you guys um, except for, oh, let me address this. So the other week I was looking at my comments 
And thank goodness YouTube or somebody marked it as spam. Somebody called me, um, you're fat, B, and, wait, wait, in sentence, and you're ugly too. Yeah, that's right. Somebody told me that. You know what? If you have something like that to say, I'd love to see it in response. So, booyah. <laughs> so, rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you another time.